welcome to the session this is shweta roy your english master teacher at vedantu and today we are going to start with the second session i mean uh, we are going to deal with the second part of the story reach for the top right so in the first part we studied we came across a really influential and inspirational figure uh, santosh yadav that was really 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 very motivating for all of us who stood against all odds and achieved success and fulfilled her dreams so today also we will come across another great personality uh, about whom we all know right maria sharapova i think everyone knows her uh, everyone know so that is what uh, we will be doing in today's session reach for the part uh, reach for the top part 2 and the second part along with the important question answers that is what we are going to cover in the uh, second session and let us begin the session with a wonderful quote and very motivating quote sacrifice is the art of giving up something good for something even better so to achieve your dreams to uh, follow your passions to achieve your goal you have to sacrifice you have to make sa sacrifices right we will also see how maria maria sharapova also made uh, you know so many sacrifices in her uh, life in order to achieve what she has become today right so similarly we also have to sacrifice a lot of things in order to strive for doing something that is there in our goal okay that is there as our goal right to achieve our ambition so for something better for gaining something better you have to make you have to sacrifice something which is good okay so no pain no gain right so with that thought in our mind guys let us proceed with today's session everybody knows maria sharapova right so this is definitely <coughs> about maria sharapova who reached the summit of women's tennis when she was barely 18 okay it tells us how she over overcame all the hurdles and even had to face humiliation in order to achieve her success right in order to achieve her dream follow her passion so let us see and uh, let us inculcate these things in our life as well so that we can also be motivated to reach success in whatever we are efficient at right so let us summarize so the first thing is maria's trip to the us okay so maria's climb upwards okay started 9 years before she was not yet 10 when she was sent to america and this trip to florida with her father yuri put her on the line of success and stardom so it was with her father and unfortunately she had to be separated with her mother at this tender age right so uh, she also uh, she had to live her mother yelena had to live in siberia due to visa restrictions so she, due to visa restrictions uh, her mother couldn't uh, accompany her so she was separated from her mother at a very tender age she was not even 10 okay so she went with her father yuri then we will see what happened uh, in the us when she was being trained so she was at the at the training center right so she recalls those days when she used to feel very lonely in the us so these are the sacrifices so see the first sacrifice that she had to make was separate shun from her family separation from her mother right so she used to feel very lonely she must missed her mother greatly and her father also could not see her because uh, uh, you know uh, he earned uh, only as much as to keep her tennis training going so she was she was very young and she used to tidy her room and uh, she used to clean her room and also the seniors yes the seniors also used to humiliate her a lot so that was a kind of ragging you could say what we call as ragging today uh, you know <clears throat> in a miniature form yes the seniors used to make i mean wake her up uh, at night and used to ask her to clean the room right so that was a kind of humiliation for so she had to you know suffer all this so these are the sacrifices and these are the struggles that she Uh, had to go through 
so no pain no gain as i told you right so my question to you is why did maria move to america please mention the answer in the chat box below come on guys okay moving ahead moving ahead let's see let's uh, understand maria's qualities okay now maria was very determined resolute nature she had and very tough mentally because she was you know not even 10 as i told you she was separated from her mother moved to a different place right so she had learned she was she became very self dependent learned to take care of herself she never thought of quitting right so self dependent okay so she, self dependent she became and she also was having this resolute nature right never thought of quitting she knew what she wanted right and that toughness we will find we find in maria's character right so this is very very important okay these are the qualities exhibited in maria then she backed the ladies single crown so these are her achievements right now we come to her achievements she backed the ladies single crown at wimbledon in 2004 she became world's number 1 in 2005 and what was her mantra for success okay first of all she journeyed from siberia to the top of women's tennis so definitely it had touched the heart of tennis fans right and she says now here she says as i told you sacrifices you have to sacrifice little things in order to have or achieve great things right so she says that these sacrifices were worth it right because see she had won the hearts of so many people hai na so uh, she says that she works hard at what she does whatever she uh, her passion was she believed in working hard so this is something which is for all of us guys right for all of you whatever you believe in whatever is your forte whatever field you are interested in you need to work very hard in that area and that is only going to lead you to success right hard work sacrifice and uh, perseverance never giving up the attitude of never giving up resolute nature determination these were the qualities that maria sharapova had and this is the quality that these are the qualities that we all should have if we want to achieve success in our life right in whatever field you are passionate about okay so next is uh, her russian roots so maria sharapova was a russian right uh, so she she went to the us however she said that she wanted to uh, you know play for russia if she could right if she gets an opportunity she definitely wanted to play for russia wanted to uh, you know play for her country right represent her country so quickly tell me who for which country maria wants to participate in olympics very very simple guys please participate in the uh, session that will help you a lot you will be understanding whatever we are dealing with in the session this is a very simple chapter okay moving ahead now we come to sharapova's hobbies what were sharapova's hobbies fashion singing dancing also reading the novels of arthur conan doyle right these are these uh, are sharapova's hobbies and she's also fond of evening gowns so she was also uh, you know very fashionable so definitely fond of evening gowns also loves pancake with chocolate spread and orange drink so just like normal human beings normal uh, you know uh, girls or maybe normal people she is a uh, fond of so many uh, things like you know her hobbies are fashion singing dancing and also reading novels fond of chocolate spreads and you know pancakes with chocolate spread and orange drinks next is what is her thought on tennis so this is very important so she does not deny that she gets motivated by money we all get motivated by money no matter how much we try to deny that but that is a fact guys and she accepts she agrees to it okay and she says that of course that is her passion that is a desire but combined with that we all need money to survive otherwise we won't be able to survive of course it is important to follow our passion but you have to convert your passion into your 
you know, living as well, right? So that is also very, very important. We cannot deny that fact. So tennis is a business as well as a sport. So all sports, may be it tennis, cricket, everything. Along with being a sport, they are all, you know, they each uh, sport is a business. You would definitely agree to that, right? The most important thing is to become the number one in the world. That was her dream. So whatever, uh, you know, field you are passionate about, in whatever your passion lies, you have to achieve the top position in that field. Only then your dream is, I mean, only then people would, uh, know you and you know that was her dream okay so you have to be uh, the best that was her dream which always kept her going so if you do not have a particular goal in your mind then uh, nobody you know you you can't keep on going you will be stagnant at one place so you have to have that goal your uh, the, you, the moment you reach your goal, then there would be nothing. So there should always be a strive towards reaching a goal. One goal you have finished. So please uh, put a tick mark and make another larger goal. Okay. So there should be a broad goal in front of you so that you always are trying to uh, uh, improve yourself to reach that. Right. So that is very, very important. That keeps you moving. Otherwise, your life uh, will become stagnant. So please tell me what is Maria's mantra for success? Very, very, very simple. Please tell me in the chat box, guys. OK, so did you enjoy the session? Yes. Then please do hit the like button and do share the video amongst your friends and also click on the link in the description box and pin comment in order to join us further and get 100% knowledge, get 100% marks. You need to visit the link below in the description box. You can avail unlimited live classes with fun and high level quizzes. You can compete with the students throughout the world. You can have live replays, inter sorry, interactive replays with live quizzes and leaderboards. And you can download the content which has the uh, handwritten notes of the master teachers. And your doubts will be solved in the class with the help of our class teachers who will be sitting along with the master teachers in the classroom. So definitely no problem in solving your doubts. Your doubts are going to be catered to in the class live and all of them would be solved along with assignment after each and every session and you also get tests right we also take tests we also conduct tests we give you the performance report on uh, uh, your test and that is going to help you in analyzing where you stand so that is very very important along with that you get 5000 plus micro courses and free crash courses and in less price so please do visit the link and use the coupon code swrepro that will enable you to get the monthly subscription at 2159 only and three month subscription at 5599 instead of five, uh, instead of 7000 which actually comes down to 11 rupees per class for a month and 9 rupees per class for three months which is even less than a packet of lace so think about it guys two years are very crucial these are your preparatory years so you need to be very cautious and make no compromises uh, in your studies because as I told you hard work success okay they are all interrelated one helps the other right so please don't make any compromises in your studies and do visit the link in the description box use the coupon code we are there at your rescue right okay so now we will enter into the important question and answers from this chapter we've already seen the summary of the chapter Okay, and I have also done this same chapter in the Hindi channel. So please go through the explanation there as well. I have taken this chapter in a completely different approach there. So please visit and also uh, had the question answers, completely different set of question answers. So please uh, practice, I mean, go through both the channels. I keep telling you this every time. Please go through both the channels. Okay, so this is the first one. First extract, that trip to Florida with her father, Yuri, launched a path to success and freedom, but it also required a heart-wrenching two-year separation from her mother, Elna, right? So let us quickly take a look what is the question. From where did she make the trip to Florida and why? Okay. 
from Uganda to Florida uh, with the purpose of making training in tennis. What happened? Okay. Uh, she made a trip to Russia, to, sorry, from Russia to Florida with the purpose of taking uh, taking training in tennis. She made a trip from Russia to Florida with the purpose of taking a leisure trip or none of the above. Please tell me the answer in the chat box. Very, very simple answer, guys. Yes, from Russia to Florida for the purpose of taking training in tennis from Russia to Florida, right? What was the heart wrenching thing about the trip? She had to part away from his, uh, with, uh, sorry, with her mother for two years with her friends or she had no money to live in America or none of the above. Again, very, very, very simple. Yes, she had to part away with her mother for two years. Then, why could her mother not accompany her? Because her father was alone at home, because uh, of money problems, because of visa restrictions or none. Again, very simple. We had done this right now in the session. So, yes, it was because of visa restrictions. So, how many of you have got all of them correct? Quickly give me a high five in the chat box. All right. Now we come to the subjective questions. How is Maria's personality a mix of contrasts? What are the points that you can talk about in this stanza? Quickly tell me, uh, sorry, in this question, what are the points? All right, so the maturity balanced mind inner strength of Maria does not appear to be accordance with glamorous dress or charming manner and ready smile. In the very beginning of the text, you, you will find this contrast, okay? The maturity balanced mind and inner strength, okay? That is in contrast with a glamorous dress or charming manner, right? So these are two very contrasting, you know, qualities, I mean, uh, attributes which are found in Maria, characteristics which are found in Maria. There seems to be some mismatch between her sophisticated outer appearance and her balanced inner self and the resolute nature that she had, the rough and tough mind, uh, the rough and tough, you know, uh, uh, character that she had, right? So that, that's, a, that's the contrast. Next question is, what does Maria declare to be her mantra for success, which we have already right now done? So I think all of you would be able to answer this question right now. She works hard to fulfill her dreams and she is not ready to give up her resolute nature, right? So uh, she's ready to make any amount of sacrifice, does not allow herself to be emotional and sentimental, very competitive, works hard to be the best. She, 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 uh, you know, she, her dream was to be the best in whatever field you are doing, you have to be the best. That was her dream, which kept her moving, right? She is driven by the hunger to succeed and dream of becoming the world number one in women's tennis, right? So that was the mantra for success. Maria's parents played an important role in her success. How? Very, very, very important point. Very important question. What other things motivated her? So please tell me a few points from your end, guys. What do you think? Maria's parents played an important role. How? What do you think? Yes, so first of all, Maria was only nine years old when her training started. She moved to USA with her father, leaving, leaving her mother behind in Russia because she had, you know, a visa problems. Her father had to work very hard, right? So he was definitely working very hard. So there is his role. Her mother stayed alone. Again, the mother's role without her husband and daughter to give her daughter the chance to succeed. So both the father and the mother, both the parents worked very hard and they helped in, uh, you know, uh, they, they definitely contributed a lot to make Maria what she is today. Right? So guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. And I hope you are completely ready with this session. But please do not forget to look at the other questions which we have done in the Hindi channel. Right? So please look at the explanation there. Also the questions there. And with that, you will be fully prepared, guys. If you have enjoyed the session, please do hit the like button. Share the video amongst your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And this is the link. If you want to join us, guys, further, then please do join us. Uh, looking forward to see you in our Vedanta family very soon. 
we are there to help you out in every possible way this is this is a very this is a completely student based platform based on your needs catering to each and every need of yours guys so all the problems that you have in the education system right now your education becoming unsystematic right so that is uh, all the problems are going to be solved in our platform guys so don't forget to use the coupon code swrepro and we are providing you with all the six subjects right english maths social science physics chemistry bio so one stop solution guys vedantu please do subscribe i uh, sorry if you can uh, if you are interested then please do visit the link in the description box and use the coupon code this is the homework question guys one has to sacrifice something to achieve something good in life so see this is the actually uh, this is the uh, uh, question which i want you to answer in the comment section you can uh, you can very beautifully use the quote with which we began the session right that is why i try to give you as much as possible i try to give you quotes before the session because you can actually make use of those quotes in your answers Uh, like this you know the value based answers right so please do uh, take help i mean uh, listen to the lecture full and uh, complete lecture and make use of the quotes that i provide you that are, those are not useless okay so those are very important and most of you what what i see is session, most of you in the comment sections uh, you know they they say session starts from this they give the time but they miss out the quote guys so please look at the lecture watch the lecture from the very beginning because the quotes are very essential i am not uselessly giving you the quotes right you can definitely make use of them so please uh, answer the comments in the uh, sorry answer the homework question in the comment section that is going to truly help you a lot using the quote right and thank you guys take care thanks for watching bye bye see you very soon in the next session